Hi everyone, this is Lorraine. So yesterday we went to the mall and went to Sephora for some things that I needed and then some things that I didn't need. And the things that you don't need are always more fun than the things that you need. But I'm going to show you what I purchased. We're going to start with the things that I needed. Um, I have been really liking this shampoo and conditioner by Bumble and Bumble. However, at Sephora yesterday, they didn't have the shampoo. I even looked underneath the drawer that you're not supposed to open by yourself. And I've gotten trouble for opening it by myself before. Um, but I did anyway. And they didn't have the shampoo. So I'm going to talk about that actually on my other channel, the current favorite, because it's a really nice shampoo and conditioner if you can get both. But I like to have them as a set. And I was going to buy it without the conditioner without the shampoo, but I saw this instead. So we purchased the Fito Keratin Shampoo and Conditioner. I've never seen this one, so I was interested. I've always liked Fito's products when I've used them in the past, um, but I will see how this works out. Um, so the shampoo looks like this. The conditioner looks like this. I wish, however, that the shampoo came with a pump because it's kind of stupid that it doesn't have a pump. So sometimes you'll be in the shower and you'll have to untwist the cap and then you'll have to pour it in your hand and sometimes you'll pour too much. So, oh, I thought you were naked for a second. No, not <laughs> And then um, I purchased this also for my hair, uh, which I've talked about on my other channel, the current uh, favorite, which is the dry shampoo by Bumble and Bumble. It's their white hair powder. It comes in different colors, uh, but I use the white because my hair is so light. And when I spray it, like let's say like I spray it on the back of my hand, it comes out clear. So I don't know that it's actually white. Actually, can I put some in your hair? I just want to see like as an experiment. No, it's clear. I don't know why anybody would buy the color ones then. It's clear. So um, it's nice and it smells good, right? I like it. It smells really good. So um, I highly recommend it. I would just buy the white instead of buying ones that have shades of color because then you'll have weird uh, you'll have weird marks in your hair. That would not be attractive. So I bought that. Love that. Um, doesn't smell. A lot of the dry shampoos smell like... Uh, like dish detergent and stuff. You don't want to smell like dish detergent. So that's good. Um, then we purchased this, which is uh, the Philosophy Full of Fortune Cookie Shampoo, Shower Gel, and Bath Bubble Bath. He uses it in the shower, not for this scent, but he uses it in the shower, on his face, in his hair, and all over his body. I just use it on my body. If I use it on my face, my skin would break out. And I've used it in the past for my hair, just occasionally, and it's fine, but um, I just use it for my body. And it smells really good. It's got an orange almond scent, is what it smells like. I've made him cookies in the past, and um, these orange sugar cookies, and that's what this reminds me of. So those are the things I needed. Now let's talk about things I didn't need. I needed everything. So I needed, no I didn't need, but I, I needed it. Um, I wanted to get the NARS Sheer Glow in the shade that I would be now because for some reason I thought they discontinued my shade, but at Sephora they sold it. On NARS website they didn't have it, which is the shade Santa Fe. Um, and it is a medium two is what they call it. It's It's got no red, it's got a little bit of yellow, but not too much yellow. It's like more of a neutral color, so I like this one. Um, this is a nice shade, and I don't know. Some I love this foundation, but sometimes I don't feel like buying it because you have to drive like 45 minutes to go purchase it, or I could order online. And when you need foundation, you need it instantly, and so I just end up going somewhere that's only 10 minutes away. But I like this, and I can't wait to use it again. And then from NARS, I also bought this Duo eyeshadow in the color... Bruce, I believe. Bruce, Bruce, I'm not 100% sure. It's 3074 is the number of it. And I'm wearing it today. And it's this nice kind of like mink color with like a purple color. And I wore them together and it's probably for the most part come off of my eyes because nothing stays on my oily skin, but it's a nice little nice little combination. I was happy with it. And then I'm wearing also what I've also bought, which was the NARS uh, 
NARS Turkish Delight Lip Balm or Lip Gloss, and it smells like plastic, but that's okay. I like the color, and I like how it feels. For some reason, I remember it being sticky, but it's not sticky, and it's really pretty, so I enjoy that. And then the last lip product that I bought was from YSL, and it is one of their new lip stains, or glossy stain. It's Rouge Pure Couture, Couture. Um, number 18, which is Rose Pastel. It looks like this. It looks like a nail polish. And then it comes with a brush like this. And it's supposed to stain your lips. And it's kind of a similar color to my NARS Turkish Delight. Um, and I really like that. I haven't tried it on yet, but I really, really like that too. And the last and final thing I purchased when we were at Sephora for these nail decals. I'm excited to try them out. They're like a glittery cheetah print. What do you think of these, Brian? The, the books. What? The books. <laughs> That's okay. I what do you think of my new nail decals? Cheetah Licious. Excellent. Now we get to watch my husband clean up the mess that he's made. You're doing a good job. We should show them also the wallet that we purchased that we couldn't return yesterday, which was the whole reason of going to the mall. Do you want to see it? Brian wants a wallet, but this is the wallet that we purchased. It's by Prada. Well, I purchased this for him at Christmas, and I thought I did a good job, but he didn't like it. And it looks like this, and it's fl it's slim like he likes, right? Yeah, and it's got card slots that he likes, and it's got a money clip that he likes, but it doesn't contain a slot, right? You no. need an additional slot, and he likes it sometimes when it has an ID thing on it, too. So you, you can just show somebody, like, your ID when you go to a bar or something. Um, that's what he likes, but that wallet doesn't exist. It does. No. It's it like Kenneth Cole. No, that doesn't exist. Yeah, does. So I got him this one, which is super nice, which everyone should comment below telling him a man should carry a really nice wallet, and this should be his really nice wallet that he carries. It was a sign, since they were closed, that you should keep it. I'm not fancy. But that's it. That's what we purchased. I purchased this shirt, too. At Express. Is that what it's called? No, yes. Guess. I purchased it at Guess. <laughs> and it's see-through, which is awesome. So, like that is it for now. Um, I kind of rambled quite a bit in this video, so I apologize for that. Um, but, yeah. So, goodbye for now. Say goodbye, Ryan. Ryan. Bye. Bye.